We've built some buildings and a battle mat for a town center. But if our adventurers are going to have an encounter in the middle of town, they are going to need some scatter terrain items to hide behind, jump over, or overturn. So I am building a few town items starting with a water well. This is cut from foam core as well as insulation foam using my circle jig on the hot wire cutter. To cut out the center of the well, I think you need a hot wire cutter. I don't know how you could do this without it other than cut out a lot of bricks and actually assemble them into a circle. Once I had cut out some posts and a beam and notched out the side and top of the well, I had all the pieces I needed to assemble it. Since the center of the well is cut out, this could be used as a secret entrance to a hideout too. Put next to a mini, you can see the opening is perfect size for some adventurers to rappel down into. Next was to texture, starting with the wood pieces, then moving on to the stonework on the well itself. I went with a brick pattern on this, but in hindsight I might have done a stone well since getting all the bricks to line up on the different pieces and with the notches for the posts took a lot more time figuring out than I wanted to spend on this. I started assembly by gluing the base to a piece of cardstock that I colored in black in the center. Then glued everything in place with white glue, being careful to line up the notches so that the wood posts would fit plumb and flush against the well. I glued on the beam and then the major assembly of the well was complete. I set it aside to dry. So far I was very pleased with how it was turning out. I then started on my merchant carts. For the wheels on the carts, I decided to use the cutouts from inside the well. I just sliced the one from the insulation foam into one quarter inch slices. Then back on my hot wire cutter, I cut a few blocks at one and a quarter by one inch out of the insulation foam. I then set the wire to a roughly 10 degree angle and sliced the tops of the blocks off. I then reset the wire to 90 degrees and notched the carts all the way around the top at roughly a 32nd of an inch deep, and then sliced in from the top to remove those edges. This created a nice angled top like you'd find at a fruit stand. I then decided to slice all the edges off of the carts at a little over a 16th of an inch, and then sliced off the bottom of the remaining center block at the same depth. Then, when I reassembled them, the tops had little compartments on them for food to sit in. For the handles for the carts, I just sliced them quarter inch lengths and then hand carved the ends into handles. I textured the wheels by drawing wood planks on them with a pencil, not forgetting to texture the edges. I then made some iron straps for the wheels out of cereal box cardboard and glued them on the wheels with white glue. For the axles, I used kebab skewers cut down the length and then glued the wheels onto them and then glued them to the carts. I then notched the handles and glued them on the bottom of the carts over the axles and pinned them in place. I also added some little legs to the front. Then I set the carts aside to dry and finished the well by adding a bar and a hand crank. For food in the carts, I used this regular styrofoam that came with the little balls and tore it up to make it rough, then sliced a small piece off to be a pile of fruit. I 
I also hand cut a small block on the hot wire cutter in the shape of a fish, then sliced that into three little fish for the fish cart. Then I was ready to start painting. Starting with a light gray, I painted all the bricks of the well, including the inside of the well. Later, I would dry brush down in the bottom black to make it uh, seem deeper. For the wood, I chose burnt umber mixed with a little bit of dark brown and started painting the wood parts on the well with a small flat brush. And then I started in on the carts, painting the entire thing, including the wheels. Once the brown was dry, I started in on the metal parts by mixing some silver with a tiny bit of black to make a metallic steel color. I painted the details of the well, including the crank and shaft, and then painted the straps on the wheels of the carts and the axles. I used the same metal color to give a base coat to the fish, and then added some color on top with light blue, pink, and yellow. A little black wash to bring out the details on the fish, then some carrots in orange, and celery in green, and of course, red apples. Then I had lots of food to put in the carts, including some onions that I just left as white. A coat of black wash to finish the paint on everything, and then the last thing to do was add a piece of twine as rope for the well, which I glued in place with crazy glue. Oh, I guess the last thing was a quick dry brush on the wood of the well. Then my town items were all complete. Now my adventurers have a fully fleshed out town to explore and have encounters in. I hope you've enjoyed watching these D&D crafting videos. Make sure to check out the other videos in this series to see how I built all the other items in my town. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see when I do some more D&D crafting projects. And as always, thanks for watching.